Okay, so we're going to go ahead and continue our series. We're going to continue our series on uh, installing and setting up Debian Bookworm in the testing environment. So as uh, we showed last time that the uh, sudo command was not uh, installed. So let's uh, log in as root. Okay, and uh, you can see on the screen here that this is using Debian and using 6.0 for the kernel. Okay, so we want to install the sudo command and some other things. So let's, uh, first thing we need to do is go over to the etc apt folder. And we want to uh, check out the sources file, make sure that that is correct. So first thing is we want to comment out uh, using the CD-ROM. We removed the CD-ROM. We aren't going to be using that anymore. Okay, so we have the Debian main and the Debian source. We're going to also be using the uh, non-free. If you don't want to use non-free, you don't need to include that. But just to make sure we are able to get everything working correctly and with any drivers, we're going to use uh, the non-free versions. Okay, and now we also need, besides the Debian, we need the updates file. So, besides Bookworm, we are also going to use Bookworm updates. And we also need the source for that. Okay, so these are the six entries that we need. And let's uh, first let's test that out and make sure we can update. Okay, and it's showing all packages are up to date because we did do the install from the mirror site. So wasn't just what was on the CD. So now let's install sudo. Okay, and let's give that a test. Let's exit out. And it's asking for our password. And the sample user is not in the pseudo file, but that's something we can work on at a later time. Okay, so we'll log in as root again. And Let's go ahead and install GNOME or GNOME or GNOME or however you want to say it. So this may uh, take a little while. Again, like always, I'll speed up or uh, edit out this uh, later on so you don't need to sit through all of it. And if I put the correct uh, command, Okay, so this is going to install about three gigs worth of stuff. This may take a while and we'll be back when this is done or if it has any errors. <laughs>
took a while. Currently, this is, process is at 38 minutes, and it should be a lot less for you after editing. So we have this installed. Let's go ahead and reboot the machine and see if everything's working. Okay, this is showing this as Debian 12. Not everything shows it as Debian 12. Some things show it as Debian 12. Still, Some still show it as Debian 11 as it's still transitioning. Okay, we have the GNOME uh, environment set up. And I need to set it up so we do not have... A joined display we have a mirrored display as you can see there's a mouse over here but you're not seeing everything so let's go ahead and set up the display Okay, so we went from join to mirror, and we'll close this up for now. And going through the setup, it wants English. Um, we're going to turn off location services for now. We're not going to connect any accounts. And we can start using it. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and uh, see about installing some new software. But in the meantime, you have a great day. Thank you for watching. And you can check out the playlist on the screen now.